Hello and welcome to Sail with Gail and Mike. So we've come to the kitchens this morning, we're just getting finding our feet around the ship and we've just Mike's got a full English as you can see. Really nice. I'm not feeling I'm not feeling it this morning, so I've gone for Weetabix and some croissants, some tea and some water. It's quite busy in here. Nice? Yeah, it's very busy in here, but we did get a table share table but that's okay and then um, it's glorious and out there today and very calm Thank you so much for watching this episode we really do appreciate it and if you like this video then please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button it really does help us out and as we've got so much more to come then hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos Good afternoon. afternoon. Do you like to have something to Oh, full. Bet too much today already. Okay. So let's take you through the Broad Street shops and down to the atrium, which covers decks five, six, and seven. This staircase takes us up to deck eight up to the exchange. It's amazing how many people don't even realise the exchange bar is there. There's good views down here from this staircase, looking across the three decks. And down on deck six, you've got the coffee port, which is a great spot during the day to stop, have a coffee. It's really good coffee as well. Extra charge for this, but well worth it in our opinion. It's a nice place to sit and watch the world go by. They also do some beautiful uh, iced coffees uh, with caramel in. I really enjoyed them. And nice snacks as well. And this was a really nice touch. They had um, a personalised mural of the uh, our particular voyage showing you the route we take and our stops thought it was a nice touch and down on deck five uh, you've got guest relations and also the premium restaurant on board which is the silver fork It's an extra charge restaurant, speciality restaurant. We didn't actually go in there. We didn't try it on this particular cruise. But I thought I'd take you inside and show you the setup and how it all looks in there. I think the standard menu was 30 odd pound and 40 odd pound for the tasting menu. But the feedback we had is it was well worth it. And then back across from the coffee port along deck six towards the back of the ship through the art house now this was a very busy bar always good atmosphere there's normally live music playing as well so we enjoyed sitting there it was probably the place we visited most wasn't it for a drink and then through into flutes which is across two floors and this is where many people will sit and listen to a bit of live music uh, and also people used to sit here uh, while waiting, you know, pre-dinner drinks before going in for dinner in Latitude, which is just a little bit further on.
we ate in latitude 53 most nights um including on the bottom of uh, latitude half of the restaurant is taken up by vista which is the italian a la carte restaurant food generally was excellent as were the desserts After dinner, we went to the Broadway show lounge and watched to watch Busby. The uh, ship production crew put on a great show. And after this show, we went for a wander. And we headed to the exchange. It was actually closed. Um, it closed, but the we were allowed in to have a little wander around and just see what it was like inside. It's all very mysterious. We didn't actually make it into the two paying um, theme nights, which we were gutted about. Um, but certainly, if we ever go on Voyager again, we'll be very keen to uh, to spend an evening here. And experience one of the uh, the theme nights that they have. Yeah, well, no nights complete without a trip to the uh, the kitchen for late night snacks, because it must be about at least an hour since we'd last eaten. And it was always busy up there, wasn't it? So, it's open from 10 till midnight. And then after a long day, it's back to bed. And we had a nice piece of towel art. Thanks to our room steward. Next stop, Gibraltar. Thanks for watching.